A Channel 2 Action News exclusive for you now. PNC Bank is now looking into some blue dyed money that was spit out by a metro area ATM. The bank confirmed the investigation with us after our customers told us that they were denied refunds. Uh, no one's going to take that money. See all the dye all over it. New at 6 investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln talked to a woman in McDonough who received those dyed bills. Well, this customer says after inserting a card into this ATM machine, she received dyed money. Now she says she's stuck with money she can't use. What am I to do? $360? We need to know what to do. It's damaged and dyed money. Tawana Brown and other PNC ATM users say they received from this McDonough ATM. I got the money out and just put it in my purse. Brown says later that day when reaching for the money to pay for food, she noticed $360 from an $800 withdrawal covered in blue dye. I can't use it. It's not, mm -mm, no one will take it. Brown says she was told by a manager at this Stockbridge PNC Bank branch that while this has happened to other customers, they couldn't take the money back. He basically told me or made me feel like kick rocks. It's not our you know, responsibility. I was livid. I was. I was really mad. Brown says the money was meant for her brother's mortgage payment, a payment she says they're now behind on. It's really frustrating. I reached out to PNC and a spokesperson said they're collaborating with their vendor to investigate reports of damaged bills within certain PNC ATMs and are working to support any impacted individuals. The Georgia Bankers Association says while it's unusual for an ATM to dispense unfit money, it isn't impossible. They suggest affected customers keep all transaction receipts. The GBA also says if this happens at a bank where you don't hold an account, you'll be subject to that bank's policy for non-customers. Because I needed to know who responsibility was it because he simply said that it wasn't their responsibility to give me my money back. And I reached out to McDonough police to see if they responded to this ATM. We're waiting to hear back. In McDonough, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action News.